Sometimes we may need to use an airway adjunct, such as a nasopharyngeal or an oropharyngeal airway. We use a nasopharyngeal airway when the patient is conscious, when they've still got their gag reflex. But there are some cases we shouldn't use it. We don't want to use a nasopharyngeal airway when we consider that the patient might have a basal skull fracture, because the last thing we want to do is to put that piece of plastic into their brain. We're going to size the nasopharyngeal airway with the little finger of the patient's hand. We insert it horizontally along the base of the nose like this. It will stay in place, keeping the tongue out of the way, allowing an open airway for oxygen delivery.